Welcome to Wiggle Sticks TV. The next stage of the project has arrived, fresh from the USA. Here we have our exhaust system. You might have gathered from the stickers on the tank and the front fender from the last time what brand of exhaust this is, but I will just dig into it now and see uh, if I can get this unwrapped. So you might think that's a tad narrower than the standard pipe. That's for a very good reason. That is because we're running a Devil Shotgun Exhaust, which should be pretty unique, definitely here in Australia, and there's not too many of these around, so I'm looking forward to actually getting these installed on the bike, so I'll try and fish out the uh, other mounting hardware and at least try to get the, um, at least get the uh, two exhausts uh, mounted, even though I don't have an engine yet, I should be able to get it down to the linking pipe, so getting there. Here we go, we have our full, all the parts laid out now. Coming back to the front here, and then the two exhaust cans sitting there together. So yeah, they look, should look pretty sweet. Um, stainless finish, so we'll polish up all the headers and everything before putting this together. Um, all the springs and everything in there. So, yeah be pretty cool when it's all put together. Started to look at the exhaust. As you saw from when we picked it up the other day, it had this light kind of rusty oxidization or whatever it is on the headers. Um, it's not the prettiest exhaust. It has an arrow front mated to the devil um, end pipe part here, but just with a little bit of soap, um, like fine sandpaper, wet and dry, and then a little bit of polish, it pretty much removed all the oxidization and has um, yeah, come up not looking too bad. So I won't bore you with video me sanding the rest of all the pipes and everything, um, but essentially that's the finish I'll kind of end up with and um, this goldy finish was already on the devil system. Um, and you can see I think in there the engraving of the devil uh, just there. So I might just try now and see uh, if I can get this placed on the bike with the pipes. Um, obviously I can't mount the rest of it because I don't have the engine, but um, we'll see if we can get everything lined up and see what it might actually look like with this, at least this part of the system on the, on the bike. Managed to get the exhaust sitting on the bike. Um, I think I need to get the engine in there just to get the rear two mufflers um, sitting correctly but uh, as a mock-up with this need the springs and stuff on there as well um, I think it will yeah I think it looks pretty good pretty happy with how it came out so let's try and find a tail section now because I wouldn't be interested to see what it looks like um, with the yeah with the tail section on there so um, yeah getting closer getting closer Luckily had another package arrive today, which I've been waiting for a little while now. Um, so what we have here is a oil catch can from MotoGP Works in the States. Um, also came with the fasteners and stuff that you need for it. And essentially this mounts, mounts up there somewhere like that. And. Uh, yeah, just need to put a couple of rev nuts in there, which they supplied, and um, yeah, just need to put a couple of rev nuts in and then bolt it in. I'll worry about running the hoses and stuff um, later on.
got that finger tight in there at the moment. Um, I should have the seat, the rear seat unit and everything tomorrow, so I should just double check that it fits, but I did a rough um, scope out on my 98 tail section. It looks like there's heaps of room. It comes all the way back here somewhere, so um, yeah. It's pretty cool.